there. For today's activity, you're going to need these gingerbread men that I sent you in your bag. So go ahead and pause the video and make sure that you have what you need. You can also pull out um, some of these uh, gumdrops um, for the activity or um, fruit snacks or cereals or anything that the, is safe for the children to play with that they can count. I'm gonna give you a second to get that. And I'm going to lower my camera so you can see what's going on in front of me. There we are. All right, so for this activity, we're gonna do some counting. So you're going to start with uh, whichever gingerbread you want. I'm gonna do them in order. Um, so this one has the number one on it. So you're gonna show your child, this says one, one. So we're gonna give this gingerbread man one button. I have some plastic buttons here. Um, so if you have real buttons, you can use those. Um, and you would just put one on there. If you don't have buttons, use the gumdrops I sent you. Yours are black and white, but they can put one gumdrop button on. If you don't wanna use the gumdrops, you can use a cereal or a fruit snack or something, uh, animal cracker, something small like that. And one, we have one. Um, and then you're going to have your child go through and do each one. Make sure that you're counting with them. So we've made one. And then we're going to move on to the next one. This says two. This gingerbread needs two buttons. So we're going to give him one, two. He has two buttons. Or you could do it this way. One, two two buttons, two. And while you're doing this, you can talk about colors. This gingerbread man has one red and one pink button. Here we are, we have the number three. This is the number three. So this gingerbread man needs three buttons. One, two, three. He has one, two, three buttons. Or one, two, three. One, two, three buttons. This is the number four. Let's put four buttons on this gingerbread man. I'm gonna use cereal this time. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four, and here's the number four. All right, and our last gingerbread man says five, five. So we can give him five. I'll use the gumdrops this time. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. Now my gingerbread man has five buttons. This is an activity you can do at any time of the day. You can do it at breakfast time, snack time, play time, anytime. And you can use anything that you have at home to make the numbers. Um, the important thing is that you're doing it together, you're having fun, you're counting with your child, and the more times you do it, the more likely they are to start identifying the number, as well as being able to count out the correct number of objects. It's practice, practice, practice. Along with this, I also sent you this activity, and this is something you can cut out the numbers, and then you and your child can work together to place the correct numbers along with the gingerbread men. So you'll count together one, two, three. This is three gingerbread men. So I will put the number three with my gingerbread man. Here we have one, two, one, two, two gingerbread men. So I'm going to put the number two on that line, two. How many gingerbread men do we have here? just one. So let's place the number one next to him. One. How many gingerbread men do we have here? One, two, three, four. 
four gingerbread men. Here is the number four, four. Let's count the last row. One, two, three, four, five. Here's the number five, five gingerbread men. It's important that you're counting and practicing recognizing numbers all day long. Make it a fun activity. When you have a spare second, pull one of these activities out and work on it with your child. Stay safe, have fun, do lots of talking together. Bye-bye.